Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you all today? I am Dee Dee Love. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you are not a subscriber, please subscribe. I would like for you to drop in and visit me occasionally. That would be really nice and I would really appreciate it. Thank you. Today we're going to talk about Van Latham versus Michael Babcock. Van Latham is, well, was employed by TMZ. He was suspended last week after a verbal confrontation with Michael Babcock. Now, I've been watching TMZ for years. I don't know who this Michael Babcock is. I had to Google him. I actually thought Michael Babcock was the other Michael, the black man with the long dreads. Anyway, so they moved and they terminated Van. In any corporation that you work at, you already know that um, confrontation is not allowed. First of all, from a black person, I tell you this. We all know that the rules apply to most some of the time, but they damn sure apply to us all of the time. Now, Van went and threatened a guy, and he threatened him. Should he have been fired? Absolutely, because if somebody threatens me at work, I expect their ass to be terminated as well. But... Van got comfortable. Van forgot who he was, and it happens to a lot of us. You must remember at all times, I don't care how high your position, how welcome they make you feel, you always that black man at the end of the day. We are looked at as being loud, angry, and aggressive. And if you pay attention, there are certain types of black people that they hire for certain positions. If you go into a corporate setting, you're going to find that even if the person outside of work is off the chain and all of that good shit, at work, they said it, they fit into a certain profile. You know what I mean? You speak a certain way. You talk in a certain tone because you have to. It is necessary. Because if you don't, you are deemed a threat. You know, I was called into the office one day. They said, oh, you know, the vice president heard you being snippy with Carol. I said, well, did the vice president hear Carol being snippy with me? You know, they don't hear it from themselves. They only hear it from you. So we have to move accordingly and we have to word things a certain way and there are things that you have to say, you know? It's like, it could be me and four of my girlfriends in the bathroom headed out to lunch and a white woman will walk in and say, oh, what are y'all having a meeting? When, how many times do you walk in the bathroom and there are eight white women in the bathroom? You never think to say, are y'all having a meeting? So there are double standards, and that's just what it is. But in this situation, he should have expected to be fired. Well, what I am going to say is that, A, he was there for many years. TMZ is a wonderful thing to have on your resume. And most important of all, God will move you when you don't move yourself. There are times when you're stuck in places and you say, oh, I'm leaving. I'm going to quit. I'm going to quit. And you won't. And then all of a sudden you get fired. And at the moment, it may seem like the worst thing in the world, but no, that is the universe telling you, listen, you need to get the hell on. There's bigger and better waiting for you. And if you really pay attention for most people who do good in the world, when one door closes, another one always opens and it's usually at a bigger and a better place. Um, so, you know, I just would say to all of my peoples out there like i said if you're at work be careful how you move even if someone comes at you aggressive don't respond in an aggressive manner don't do it take that shit down to hr because they look at us different it is what it is and you know people get offended it makes you uncomfortable when people you know when i say that because i have friends my black friends it makes them uncomfortable as well but i really don't give a shit because the truth does make you uncomfortable it's supposed to so be careful how you move and how you respond and what you say. Because also remember in life, it ain't what you say, it's how you say it. It ain't what you do, it's how you do it. He was wrong for going back into that room and confronting that man one more time. He should have let it go. But it is what it is and he's moved on. And I can assure you that better things are coming his way. But it's shocking to him because he's young. He's been comfortable. He's been there forever. That's all he knows. So it'll be a little transition, but he will be okay. I hope he's a fighter. I hope he has strong faith because it can go either way. He could fall into a depression and feel bad about this nonsense, you know, blaming himself. Because, you know, when you ain't been fired before or you haven't been let go, it could hurt your feelings. But ne never let that shit hurt your feelings. Just move on to the next thing. All right, next up, we're going to talk about Diddy and Lori Harvey. So, Diddy is date, was dating Lori Harvey, who used to date his son, Justin. 
And I have noticed how Lori Harvey has been labeled the whore, you know, Lori's this and Lori is that. And society and the male culture and the male influence on our thoughts and our beliefs have us totally fucked up. Because at the end of the day, well, Dippy's a predator. I said it. He's a predator. He's a predator. Uh-huh. Thin line between player and predator. Okay, Lori Harvey is a child. Why isn't he being held accountable? Why is anybody saying what he's doing is disgusting? Why aren't people outraged that he's dating his son's ex-girlfriend? Hmm? Remember, he already uh, had Cassidy, Cassie in captivity for how long? And he messed around with Cassie and got her personal trainer in her age group, a Latin man that she could relate to, and bam, now she's married and moved on. But we're going to back this up a little further about his predatorial behavior. Let's talk about Kim Porter. Kim Porter was mentally abused, clearly. I did a video, it's on my page, it's still here about him, when she passed away. Y'all remember how distraught he was and he had to be, uh, you know, talked to and all of this bullshit. He was so distraught that her grandmother found out she died by watching the news. He was too distraught to even call the grandmother, okay? He's doing all these tributes and carrying on. Meanwhile, Cassie just broke up with you two weeks ago, so you're really upset about Kim dying or are you upset about Cassie dumping your ass? Which one is it? Um, yeah, I see him as a predator. Like I said, he kept Cassie in captivity all that time. He kept Kim in captivity. Kim was with him while he had children with other people, while he dated Jennifer Lopez. He did all kind of other shit. She wasn't allowed to have a life. And if you all recall, when she was murdered, I'm sorry, when she died mysteriously tell me why she didn't go to the emergency room or somewhere i mean are you do people really become that rich will i ever become such a millionaire that i don't know that if i'm dehydrated can't breathe and my heart beating too damn fast that i need to call 911 or go to the hospital i don't know but um right before a book that she was writing was about to be published and it was about a lot of the things that he had done and in that book they said that you know he had broken her nose and other stuff too and i can believe it because again he is a predator clearly he was on a date with steve marjorie harvey is that her damn name is it marjorie yeah steve marjorie Lori, and diddy nobody got a problem with nobody sees it as him being a predator when I saw the picture of Lori, Steve, and Diddy together, it turned my fucking stomach. That, that shouldn't have been happening in the first place. Lori clearly has issues. Her mama need to stop shopping and spending money and get in touch with her daughter and talk and have some conversations and get that little girl in the counseling. Because now she done went from Diddy and she's back to seeing Future. Future? Any young lady dating Future got problems, period. At this point, moving forward, any woman you see with future, something is wrong with her. Don't worry about him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know he got 45 kids and he don't know who the mamas and some of them are. He's not the one with the issue, ladies. It's the lady. We need to start taking responsibility for our own actions and our own reproduction systems because how is he still having babies with people? Y'all going to end up fucked up and broke like some of them. Remember back in the day, everybody was having, it was two NBA players. I think one of them had like 25 kids or some shit ended up he was on oprah this is how long ago that was when oprah first came on and he was broke and these whores i mean i'm sorry he, these ladies didn't understand why there was no child support like what are you doing you can't have babies as meal tickets it doesn't always work out that way sometimes you might lose the most part you're gonna lose at the end of the day the kid will eventually turn 18. okay but moving along marjorie you know putting her daughter out there like that and letting her do the things that she's doing. Even as an adult woman, if you was a hoe, it's all good. But you should know better. You should teach your daughter to move in a different way. Again, it's not what you do, it's how you do it. And ladies, this is for all of us. Everybody you sleep with, the world don't need to know. Your family don't need to know. Well, you know, one of your cousins, they need to know just in case, and um, you know, somebody crazy or some shit like that. But all your business and all your information is not privy to everyone. That's why it's called privacy. We live in a day and age where privacy is just none and void at this point but privacy is very important exercise it look at queen latifah her she's a very private person she got a life keep your shit on the down low but um diddy's disgusting thin line between player and prayer player hater prayer hater
He might be a player hater, but I'm a fucking prayer hater. And he's a prayer. He praying on that little girl. He playing. He praying. Prayed on Cassie. Prayed on Kim. Prayed on uh, Lori. But Lori's the whore. And he's all, he walking away smooth and clean. What, 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 what Snoop Dogg got to say about that? Y'all know what I figured out too? Snoop Dogg and T.I., y'all know I can't stand them two motherfuckers. But it's not even that I can't stand them. Them bitches is Libras. Sorry to my Libra people. But all my Libras know I got Libras in my family and all that. I do not. We get along, and when we don't, we don't. All right? We love each other, and then as soon as we don't, we don't. So, shout out to all the Libras. Happy birthday to y'all crazy motherfuckers, y'all. Some timey uh, bitches. <laughs> See y'all later, deuces. Have a good day.